In the last lesson, we talked about multicast at layer two. Now we're going to talk about multicast routing, or how traffic gets from a source to a destination through a network. We know that multicast has to get from a single source to multiple destinations, and it does this with a distribution tree. Of course, the tree means that at some point the traffic is going to branch out so they can reach all of the required destinations. Now there are a couple of different types of distribution trees. The first is going to be source rooted, also called shortest path trees. And this is similar to how a link state routing protocol finds the shortest path from itself to every other destination on the network. The root of the tree will of course be at the source of the traffic and the shortest path to each receiver will be calculated. The other type of distribution tree is known as a shared tree. In this type of distribution tree, the sources are going to send their multicast traffic to a central location or a rendezvous point. From there, the traffic is going to branch out by the shortest path to the recipients. This is of course less efficient, but it takes load off of the routers. There are also two basic types of multicast protocols. Dense mode protocols flood the multicast traffic to all points on the network and then prune the traffic when there are no recipients for a particular network segment. Sparse mode protocols build the distribution trees on demand when routers explicitly join them because they have receivers. Throughout this lesson, we're going to be examining the distribution trees and dense and sparse mode protocols. Here is a simple example of a shortest path tree. In the example, we have source one sending to both receiver one and receiver two. Obviously the shortest path to get there is through routers A, C, and to receiver one, E to receiver two. The notation for this would be S comma G. Obviously S stands for source and G stands for group. So in this case if source one was 192.168.1.1 and the group was 224.1.1.1, the notation would be 192.168.1.1 comma 224.1.1.1. To continue our example, we have another source, call it 172.16.1.1, that wants to send to the same 224.1.1.1 group. Even though we're sending to the same group, obviously we're going to take a different path. This is going to be through routers F, D, C to receiver one, and over to router E to get to receiver two. With shortest path trees, the tree is per source. This is obviously because different sources are going to have different shortest paths to get to receivers. 